we need to talk. Okay. So first things first, let's talk about this email. So I get this email from a SNHU instructor and I've been notified that one of my videos that I made uh, some time ago, okay, was, is being used to help students to cheat. Uh, that is precisely what he said. Those are his words, not mine. Okay. When I made this video, which is IT 145 pseudocode flowchart, I remember it very well because I struggled with it. The video is here. Okay. And in the video, I went through to basically teach people how to do, you know, pseudocode. And I was going through because I was struggling with this. And so if, if you see this part, I was really struggling with how to put it together. So I made a video to help with that. What that did is people actually went through that video and at least from my understanding, and they're using the documentation that I put in and they're submitting it as their own. Okay. So we need to talk about plagiarism and we need to talk about honesty and I can't control someone going in, taking my video and submitting it, submitting the work as, um, when they get ready to actually need to do a pseudo flow chart for whatever reason, whether it's with an employer, uh, showing proof that they know how to do a pseudo flow chart, uh, you won't know how to do it. You will have gotten a grade, but you won't know how to do it. So I want to make sure that people understand that when you go into submit your assignments, <clears throat> there is a plagiarism check. So, and they make that very clear when you submit an assignment. So I know most people are aware of that and there's not any place like up here where you're going to go and going to tell you like, this is how you go through and, um, the plagiarism checker. Like it's not there. It's built into when you submit a document, the plagiarism checker goes in and it says what percent of your particular paper is plagiarized, meaning you did not give any type of uh, you didn't cite anything. And in this particular case, when I created that video, I created it with the intentions of explaining what I did for the documenting process. And it's unfortunate that people have used it to submit the work. So what I've had to do is take the video and list it. Uh, the instructor asked me to, um, I took it where it's not listed. You cannot go through. Uh, that particular video is attached to something else. So it's part of something else. Uh, that's why I couldn't take it down is because it's part of an, another aspect. But what it is, um, is it puts us in a really uncomfortable position. You and I in a very uncomfortable position because we need to talk about why that's the case. Is it that, um, with my work, if you're going to use my work, at least cite my work, if you need to know how to cite something. I have a couple of places where I go to cite it. So I'm just going to assume whomever it is that used the work, one did not know how to cite it. So I can show you what I use. Okay. So I use two things. If I'm doing a cite use, um, citation me, or I have a, um, if you're using Chrome, they have this cite this for me website. So if you were to go into CNN, for example. Okay. And you were some, you know, business thing that was going on in it. If you were going here and you needed to cite this, because this is what you were going to use for. A product, okay. Um, you, if you have Chrome, you can not use this, which is a cite this for me. It's a web clicker and it'll allow you to do whatever format you need. And then you just copy and paste it. And there's your citation done. Okay. So I'm going to assume that that person had no clue how to do citations. And that is why they use my particular document and, and uh, video to do their own work. So plagiarize, uh, let's go through and learn how to cite. You need to reach out to me, um, because with this, um, you know, like you were doing the flow chart, the instructor, this particular instructor, Josh seems like he's very approachable. Okay. So please make sure in his class. Um, that you are going through to ask him for help. I didn't necessarily need to, cause I reached out to other people, um, to learn how to do pseudo flow charts. So please take care of yourself. Okay. And, uh, I have another video coming for the end of the last class I just took. So you guys stand by for that and I'll chat with you later. Bye.